Look at my baby. Let her sit out in the elements all night. That's all right. We about to get you cleaned up. Got dirt and stuff all over the hood. Oh, my Jesus. Can't be letting my baby look like this. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Make sure you hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on your notifications. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of insight on how to deal with unruly women. Now, as a person myself that has been married for over 18 years, I got married when I was 22 years old. I'm an advocate for being successfully married. There's a lot of people giving you advice out here that don't know nothing about relationships. They don't know nothing about staying married. They don't, listen, the goal isn't just to get married. The goal isn't just to have a great relationship. The goal is to be successfully married because there's a difference. Now, over these next few videos, I'm gonna be giving you a lot of insight on the difference between being successfully married and just being married or in a relationship or enduring through a marriage because there's a big difference. I'm actually on my way to get my cars cleaned so once a week, I like to get my cars clean to make sure that everything is... I actually go out, every time I go out, I try to get my car clean because I'm not riding around in no dirty bins, that's for sure. But um, the biggest mistake that you can make as a man is chasing. Now, she likes to be chased a little bit, but there's context to it not chased as far as bad behavior she liked to be chased and you got to do this periodically but this is a completely different video she likes to be wanted right but a lot of times you're going to run into women that exhibit bad behavior or they just won't do the thing that's in their own best interest now you got to keep in mind that to a larger extent and i know that this is going to offend some people but women to a larger extent needs to be treated like children let me explain even when even when you go to the altar, right? It's a reason why a man is walking or her father, preferably. Everything is so out of whack now. So you got to kind of take this with a grain of salt. Her father is walking her down the aisle and passing her on to her groom, her husband. Why do they call him a groom? He is literally going to be her covering. Women that are in the ideal position, meaning that they can operate in a femininity, which is the time that you get the best out of them. Women are not meant to be out here competing like men. Can they? Absolutely. Will they adapt? 100%. Can they be awesome in whatever it is that they're doing? Absolutely. But if you want to get the best out of a person, right, you don't put, you know, a baseball player on the basketball, on the basketball court. Is it possible that they can dunk and score some points? Absolutely, but they're the best thing for them and them in their best element is on the baseball field. It's on that mound. You know what I'm saying? I want to get the most out of you. You're a pitcher. And so when you take that into consideration, a woman in her element is operating in her femininity and operating in her femininity is really being under the covering of a man so that she can be enabled to do the things that she really should be doing as a woman. Again, a completely different video. But bringing it all the way back, women largely operate like children in that they will do the thing that you allow them to do. They will push the limits all the way into whatever it is that they can get away with. As a matter of fact, a lot of women will test you. <laughs> they absolutely will. They will test you. They will see how far they can go. Or, or I'll give you an example. Let's say that you as a man, you know what I'm saying, realize that she's not good with money or that she always overspends, or that she shops too much and she doesn't know when to cut it off. It's a time for play, it's a time for shopping, it's a time for grinding, so on and so forth. And you're trying to give her advice and you're saying, hey, you need to get your budget together or you need to do this or you need to stop spending so much or whatever. And she continuously does it. And the problem is that she knows that you're her safety net. She knows that you're going to cover it. She knows that whatever it is that she goes over on, you're gonna make up for it and so, she doesn't have to do anything. As a matter of fact, she's not even gonna say anything. It's not like she's gonna come to you and say, oh, I overspent or whatever like that. She gonna finesse you. Hey, honey, you know, whatever, blah, 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 so on and so forth. 
she gonna finesse you or she's going to act like a child and you know what children do they do the thing that they want to do until they get caught doing it and so you have to make sure instead of chasing her instead of trying to make sure that you remedy her bad behavior and hold her accountable and all of this other type of stuff there's other ways to do it listen communication is 90 percent body language 10 percent of what you actually say and this is where women get it wrong <laughs> i can't be giving y'all all the gems in one video this is where women get it wrong they think that communication is talking a lot but you ain't saying nothing the best way to solve for issues is looking at change the behavior the best way to forgive somebody or to show that you're doing things differently is changed behavior we don't have to talk about it the only thing we have to do so you as a man you have to figure out what the solution is but you don't have to necessarily communicate it to her you don't have to necessarily say everything you don't have to necessarily hold her accountable verbally with your words and all of that the only thing that we care about is the results right and so here's the method. Here's the thing that you got to do. You got to let her go. Let her suffer. Let her suffer in silence. See, you give her the game. If she continues to do what she want to do, or she does things differently from what it is that you advise her to do, and you know that she's failing, you watch that chick suffer in silence. You don't fight her. Do not sit there. Listen, get the best out of her. Enjoy her. Don't even concern yourself. Now, some of you guys are going to fight back. Some of y'all are going to want to say something every day. And all you're going to do is continue to, you're going to devalue what your voice is, is, is saying because it's going to it's gonna start sounding like an echo chamber. Have you ever seen a kid, right? And they're so used to getting in trouble that they expect it. And so as a result, a lot of times they'll do it saying okay well i'll just take the l or whatever that's kind of what's happening with you and so now you know your voice don't resonate as much because you always yelling you always complaining now you're sounding and looking like the bad guy even though your intentions are good and so as a result you're not getting the results that you want because she don't hear you fam have y'all ever been in a situation where You'd be like, man, I've been telling you this all this time. And so now they're going to say it to you because sometimes they need a change in voice because you talking too much and it doesn't necessarily resonate. So the solution is to let her go. And I'm not saying break up with her. I'm saying let her do what she going to do. Let her suffer. You so busy trying to chase her that she ain't hearing nothing that you got to say. Let her fail in silence and misery. And the lesson will be learned because you're still enjoying life. You're still having a good time. You're not tripping about that. You're still having that good sex. you still, you know what I'm saying, getting the best out of her. She feeling good and happy because she feel like he ain't tripping or he don't know. And you know, you know, but you ain't always got to say something. You know what's going on in your household. You ain't always got to say something. You see her spending. You see her off. You see her budget is, is absolutely atrocious. Let that chick fail. Now, the other concern in this conversation is going to be, well, Anton, I'm going to have to make up for it later. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't pay nothing. You're not going to cover that. You're not going to do nothing. You do what it is that you said that you was going to do. You meet your obligation. And another thing, and we're going to have a whole nother conversation about this. Y'all doing too much too early, too fast. It's a whole nother conversation. But you, you got to let that go. Let that chick be. Let her fail, let her be humbled because the best, the best way to communicate with somebody is through actions. And you ain't gotta yell, you ain't gotta trip. I don't even know what an argument looks like. It's been so long since I actually had an argument, a disagreement, sure. But that's just, you know, meaningful dialogue and all of that. But as far as actually, you know, going back and forth with somebody, I'm not going back and forth with nobody. I don't go back and forth with nobody in a professional setting and they pay me. They pay me. Why would I go back and forth with a woman? And so what you do is you look to get the best out of the situation by always enjoying her, but you're not tripping off that, man. Let her go. Let her fail. Let her fail. And that applies to everything. If she want to go out with her friends every night, man, I'm not tripping off that. Let that chick go out with her friends every night. Let her go. Listen. Don't put up with no BS. When things go bad for, let her atone for it. 
And depending how bad the situation is, whether you're married or you're in a relationship, depending on all of the circumstances, then you make the adjustment then. But you're not about to be chasing this chick, bro. Stop chasing women in any setting. The minute that you start chasing them, the minute that you'll lose their respect. But the minute that you offer guidance, solutions, right? The minute that you start to, you know what I'm saying, communicating more effectively with your actions instead of your words, she'll change. She'll evolve. She will humble herself. And then she will come to you for real guidance and information. And then, and only then, can she be reached. But if you're trying to chase her into doing the things that, that's in her own best interest, you are going to fail. Let that chick go. Let her be. And, this, and then this, just enjoy yourself and have a good time. It's not hard. Y'all stressing out over nothing. The last thing that you should be stressing out over, over is a woman. She's supposed to be a help me, not a burden. The minute that she become a burden, you're going to have to let that chick be, man. Stop tripping over that chick. It'll be good. It'll be all right. All right? School pumpkin? I love you guys. I appreciate you. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Um, we're doing some awesome things in there, including build the business, mastermind sessions, the full Charleston White. Unedited video is in the Patreon exclusive. It's not available for the general public. It's in the Patreon. All right. We got a lot more content coming. Many more content creators coming through. We getting it popping. It's going to be absolutely awesome. If you need to kick it with me personally, email me at antondaniels413 at gmail.com and we're going to get you popping. I've coached a lot of people to success, both financially and through their relationships. Men and women, we get it in. You know what I'm saying? So I love you guys. All right. Be focused. Stop tripping. Lean into the thing that you actually have to take care of and stop babysitting. All right. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.